the FTC makes a lot of claims about different types of different types of activities of Amazon are basically exclusion of competition by monopoly. However, many of them lacks facts. Okay, so there is a huge difference between how we as people perceive powerful companies and what it takes to win in court. To me, it, they might have a few points there that can be good. Some of the points, I think, just lack any factual substantiation, including market definition. And I think at the court will, they're going to have, the first outcome will be a blow. In the mind of Louis Khan, Amazon Prime is a crime. And it is really important to understand how these digital ecosystems operate. What digital ecosystems do is they try to capture us in, to concentrate many of our activities in, within the ecosystem. And they have to have some kind of temptation to get us in. In Amazon Prime, in, in Amazon, Amazon Prime is the glue that we are attracted to Prime and it works well. Now, you could say, well, that's really unfair for Amazon competitor because we go to, to the ecosystem and we, stay to, and, we, and we choose to stay in. But the question is, is it bad for us? And it would be really difficult to say that our choices to get into the ecosystems are bad. I look every year when I, every year in January, I look how many transactions, Amazon transactions, our household has had over the past year. And in the recent years, it has been over 300 a year, which, you know, we, we have a line basically. And it has been working out for us really well. And now, what harm Amazon has caused? Do they now, the prices are low. This is why we are with them. So if the traditional monopoly was bad service, high prices, low quality products. And as you know, as a loyal customer, you actually, you are loyal because of the convenience and prices. So there is something highly patronistic or highly condescending in the claim that the FTC, a few bureaucrats decide, tell us that what we, we are victims, uh, they might have a good theory, but they should persuade us first that we are victims. It, we had options, but we feel that we get a convenience and low price. The gist of the argument is the convenience and low prices are wrong. And that will conflict with the public sentiments, I think. We, li we like low prices and convenience. They are not going to win with this. They might be winning on some points. They have a lot of work ahead of them, okay? And I think that the, the, well, the points where they can win is that the Amazon probably engage in some uh, practices that uh, suppress competition in the marketplace. This identify those, you can win. Okay, so for example, the DOJ action against Google had a very interesting point. They found out that Google pays Apple $18 billion a year to have Google as the default search engine. That, you have a fact, you have a legal claim, exclusion of competition.
Amazon will probably allege there is no distinct market for the online sale of goods. It's just a, a, an overall market for the sale of goods. Uh, and the same thing for about uh, uh, services for the sale of online goods. They'll say even if there is a distinct market for online goods, it shouldn't be just platforms like Amazon that should be in this market. It should be any seller of online goods. And, and finally, they'll say even if there is such a market as platforms for the online sale of goods and services, uh, they have no monopoly power in this market. We're not going back to the moon to visit. We're going back to the moon to stay. Some people called Microsoft World War III, and I don't know, maybe Google is World War IV. And if that's true, then this is World War V. The other events were just little skirmishes. This is the big one. This is the one we'll be talking about for years.